Hello everyone, it's Mr. Buck again. I'm back here again with another one. So today, my day hasn't been, uh, my day, I, I'll say like my day hasn't been that busy because uh, today wasn't multitasking like I do. Because of that project that I'm running there. So I'm waiting uh, for some uh, approvals from uh, the architect so that we can start the work running there. There's some drawings that he needs to do the approvals. And now today I had to manage uh, some things back at home here at our uh, apparent uh, construction site. That's what I've been doing today. And uh, this soil here you see here, this soil was dug from the septic tank there. And now I'll tell you how useful it is. You can see there's a difference here. Uh, there's this soil that it's already wet, this one here. So, uh, you are digging this septic tank here. You can see, I think it's now like uh, nine feet, because uh, we need to use it. We need to be used now all, uh, all the waste that will be brought here from all our houses. Because now when you have, you're having such a, a construction that you can't use a small septic tank. So Sergio will connect his here, maybe for the kitchen. I will connect mine. Then now my mom and dad, there's a man will come here. Then I'll be able now to put some outside toilet somewhere here. Because now I need to demolish these ones here. Then I will put some here. So that uh, we, the ones that are, you know, we can't be going to take shower to a parent's house, but no. So I was with the outside ones here. So that's what we are taking here. Uh, this work started like last week. There's some some uh, young men who are doing a, a tremendous work here, guys. So that's what that I've been here managing here. And also you can see there's someone on the roof there they're trying to do. I'll go show you what they're doing. So let me tell you a small story about this thing and how why the soil is there. Or the usefulness of the soil. So after we dug here, before reaching these hard rocks, you can see there are some rocks here. So these hard rocks, uh, I'll come to that. So this soil, I don't know this one, but this one here, you can see there's a heap of soil from there, goes all the way up to the end there. So uh, we usually use bricks here. You make them, I'll show you how they're molding them. They know when they're ready, they're prepared. If you see some of my videos, I showed you how bricks are made, but I'll be able to show it to my new subscribers because maybe some are not able to see that. Some are not able to see that, so I'll be able to show you that. So you can see that house there is made of bricks. The house there is made of bricks. That's Maggie, she, uh, she has come from school. Maggie, wave to my cameraman, wave. <laughs> okay, that's Maggie. Uh, so, the bricks there are made from the mud and they're very strong by the way, very strong, very strong and it's much recommendable in our country here. So the soil that was taken from there, the top layer, because you know now the hard rock here, this one here, started from somewhere there, you can see somewhere there, where is that white substance there. So that's where they started getting the hard rock here. But the rest of this soil was up to like uh, seven feet. If I'm not wrong, seven or six feet. So I decided like uh, rather than uh, this soil going on a waste, I should make bricks. You know why? These bricks here will be able to be used here in building this septic from down here we build with bricks but down here we don't we we'll build it on the sides then now we put a slab here put some pillars four pillars then we cover it so uh i was like uh, rather than getting bricks and buying bricks let me utilize this the money that i'll uh, go buy bricks with because you know here it depends uh brick it depends the 
uh, the cheapest one you can get it at uh, eight shillings kenya shillings some even goes beyond selling at 10 shillings i don't know how much that it's in a dollar so uh so i decided like uh, let me look for someone to come and uh, see if this i'm trying like to see if this can produce my target is to get 10,000 bricks here 10,000 bricks 10,000 bricks uh 10,000 bricks if uh if i sell it for instance uh uh 10,000 bricks which 10 uh that one can uh, can go for almost a thousand dollar a thousand dollar here you see that's a lot of money that i'll need this brick so if i for instance i use inside there i use like a 2000 or 3000 i'll have a balance of 2000 8000 sorry or 7000 7,000 still, we need to put a wall around here. Still, there's a balance here that I'll be able to use. And you see? <laughs> so, I never wanted this to go away. So, this guy came and made this. Came and made this. And uh, in good for the bricks, to produce good bricks, you need to, like, stay one night. So, he, he did it in the morning. So he came, it will uh, to do it, uh, all night, it will go all night, then tomorrow morning now it will be fresh, where the moment he makes these blocks or bricks, sorry, they don't break, they don't break, that's a trick that some don't understand, some just do it, they do mix this mixture of uh, soil and water, then start uh, doing the, bl uh, the bricks, most of them do get uh, broken easily, so these ones, they won't. So uh, now that one will be utilized. That one will be utilized. So and also I have this one here, uh, the maram. Now called the maram, the hardcore maram. This one here. This one now will be used. I can use to either the surplus where the car usually goes will be used to to put it there so that it can be stronger. If you see this one even the water it takes the water it, it's not that it's not like uh, the other soil so here the guy prepares a clear field whereby now after if you be bringing uh, blocks from there he'll be coming and uh, arranging them here they'll be arranged here for the uh, bricks to dry up so this is the field that he made you see it's like beating one to beating a bird beating <laughs> you say is it beating bird with two stones beating one bird, beating uh, two birds with one stone you can do all that it's one way over also not spending much not spending much so the money i'll be able to the money that I, i'll either use to buy the bricks I'll take it there. I'll use it. Uh, I'll use it either now to pay the masons to build that septic. I have the firewoods. They are there. I have the firewoods, and also I have more timbers here for blundering. So, and this ones here will be used like when they want to do the plastering for plastering. They use this and uh, uh, fix them together then they use them like uh i don't know how do you call it like those metals that they usually use in the story house buildings so today there's something that they're doing here uh in our language they say kukazia like they're blocking these spaces for instance you can see there's a space here where there's that brick and that timber but now in order for like uh, when you put a roof so that uh, either birds cannot come and stay inside there when there's too much wind it cannot penetrate so uh, they, they are building they're adding another course of blocks of bricks to go on top go on top i'm looking for, uh, if there's a ladder where i can climb and also here this part 
they have completed it. It was not, it was, I, we had built it up to this level. You can see there's a difference. The new uh, bricks there, the new bricks there, so that complete, they have completed it. So today's work, the, what they are doing now, completing that so that we can start with the plastering. We can start with the plastering, guys. So today, this is what I've been, I've been doing here. Since the guys are here, I'm building and uh, they'd like to complete Ekunaju up here, putting all that course. From there, you can see the guys, the missions are still working. They're still working here. And they have uh, these guys with their handmen. They're helping them out. So that's what we're doing. So when you put rid of bricks, when uh, they are really done, they look like this. It's very strong. It's very strong. Very, very strong. It can't, like even water can't touch it. That's why you see they can carry this weight. The weight. So the bricks here are better than these blocks. Very strong than these blocks. Trust to me, they're better than these bricks are better than these blocks. Yeah. Better than these blocks. So even the other reasons why so we are like uh, we did not build down here with the blocks i used blocks on top here blocks do take the house quickly because quickly faster but now the bricks are strong even if this water wall it can't have any problem but you know the block now it's not that strong guys so that's what i've been doing a little bit busy today not that busy and also so when i'll start now uh burning those bricks i'll use this file here mom's file so i'll talk to her like hey mom so i need some few files here i'll go get some trees we already have uh some trees there that i need to bring down one thing about uh, when you cut a tree plant another one do not wait for the tree to uh for the place to dry up so this one's already dried up so i'll get some if i go cut some and uh, get some uh, some woods i'll be able to replace them because i'll talk uh to the boss <laughs> the owner, who is uh, my mother so that uh, it can be they can be replaced and our tree is really really doing well so that i was telling you because i want uh when we finish all these, I can be able to prepare here. We do the landscaping, and uh, this area can be all well. So, guys, uh, these issues that have been going on for a few days, uh, and when you see me coming here talking about certain kind of things, uh, pressing issues, you know that I either. Uh, there is a, uh, people have contacted me people have reached me out uh, either <coughs> sorry to see how I can solve solve the issue uh, this is a video that my brother did this is a video that my brother did and uh, for sure I'll tell you uh, mostly it's very rare for me to watch uh, my brother's video because most of them are reaction videos at times some are heartbreaking when you get a message so i really i really watch i really watch and even if you tell him for the last time you watched my videos i can't remember even if you watched i ever watched my video the times you do get so busy that uh you end up even not watching someone's video but i really watch my brother's videos but maybe when he does a video that's not a reaction video or a, a vlog i'll go through it to watch and watch and watch <coughs> Sorry. So there's this video that uh, my brother did. Did mention Maro. Uh, did mention uh, one of our subscriber there. And uh, I was sent a link by like five people <laughs> who are concerned about that. Who are concerned about that? Like, hey, what's this? What's going on? Man? Pablo, Pablo, do something, man. We do real respect. We don't want all this to happen. 
when some uh, did dm me via ig what's happening with your brother you know guys i'll be honest and sincere with you my brother sejo is not is no longer a young boy or a i'll say like a 10 year old he's a grown-up man he's a grown-up man uh, and for sure I don't know personally, I don't know the problem that he has with Maro. I don't know for sure, I don't know. I don't know, because one thing, they have not been close to Maro. I am the one who have been close to Maro since childhood, or that. We've been close to Maro. So, my brother is close to Nasto, my Yugno, Maja. Because uh, those are most of the people that he used to hang with. My Yugno, not after... The issues that they had, you know, now it's like uh, they are not that, I haven't seen them for a while. But I always see them in Nasto, Maja, uh, they together. Because, you know, those are the, the guys who helped him open a YouTube channel, which it's good, it's good. So, you know, time, my brother will do videos that contradict uh, what uh, times uh, subscribers feel like, what he stands for. At times, they, they don't, uh, like... Uh, I'll say like they have that trust issues with him now. Uh, uh, at times they call him a negative reactor, at times a positive reactor. But personally, I've asked him like, hey, does anyone influence you to do it? He always said, no, no, no. I do, I do also do it by myself. No one influences me. Because for sure, I know it's hard to control him. No one can control him. I know him. I know him. He's my brother. I know him. You know, I've tried my level best, like, hey, stop doing these, or oh, stop these attacks. Because at times, uh, the problem is, uh, the moment he does such kind of a video, people tend to feel like it's something that we sat down and scripted. We did that, then you get that. That's where uh, some of our subscribers get it wrong. What Sergio does, he does it by himself. What I do, I do it by myself. With me, if you have a problem with me, or if you have, if you have an issue with me, I'll come and iron it out. I don't put issues in my heart. Even there's a time that we had issue with uh, BT, but uh, we sorted out and I told you what it, it happened, and that is not why I made that video, and it, it was done and dusted. I don't have issue with anyone. Maybe if he has with me, okay, maybe, man, I don't know. But with me, I'm okay, and. Uh, I'm good even if we meet him today. We've never met since that time. But I usually see him pass by by the bike. At times at our place here. At times I'll see them passing me. So we might have a problem. Uh, I'm good, good. So uh, the reason why I'm telling you I did this video is to, to put some things clear. What Sergio does, he does it uh, by, I don't know, like, I don't know what pushes him, what it's himself, not me, I'm not involved in his issues. And you know, he's not a young man, as he told, he's not a young kid, whereby I'll tell him, hey, come do this, do this. I do try my level best to advise him. I've tried, I've tried, you know, times when you tell someone and uh, at times he doesn't take your advice. That is it. Like the video that he did, I did ask him, like, uh, he gave me different version, different version of what I went and watched, because after I sent the link, I asked him, hey man, what happened? He said, ah, I did this and all. I said, okay. So like he never went deep into the video, the discussion. So when I watched it, it's like, well, oh, it's a different thing. But I'll keep trying advising him, because you know, it's upon him to make his channel grow or spoil his channel. Spoil his channel. You get that? spoil his channel and you know times there's even like three subscribers came and told me hey i'll never subscribe to your channel because of your brother man 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 listen listen we all have brothers and sisters in a family not all people are equal so no one carries the sins of his brother or her sister no one no one no one but I've been a victim of that, guys. I swear I've been a victim. It's not the first time, not the second time. Whatever my brother does, it does reflect to me. Like now, it turns out that it affects both of us. 
Okay, we should now punish both of these guys. Why should you punish me uh, for the mistakes of my brother? Is that really is that really fair? It's not fair. It's not fair at all. If either you having problems, you just deal with that. They are not me. That's even I tell you. That's even I tell you. For sure, it's very hard for tomorrow to do a video with him. But with me, even if I, go, I walk tomorrow today, like, hey, brother, when can you do a video? He'll tell me, hey, maybe come tomorrow or day after tomorrow, we can have a video. Like, always, I'm always welcome to his compound there. So there's no issue. <clears throat> and there's no day. Trust you, me. There's no day that tomorrow sat down and told me, hey, what's, uh, see what your young, your young man does. Or we shall talk our own things. We shall do our own things talk or about uh, different things then that is it but I usually tell my brother no stop uh, stop these attacks no they're no good they are no good for your channel they're no good but mostly people do reach me out because they know like hey man you can talk to your brother because you are uh, a bit different from him you can try talking to him I do I do when today I did talk to about, with him about the video so uh, i'll see what next what he'll do next because now i do get punished at times i do get punished for i'll say for his sins man <laughs> that's the bitter truth that's the bitter truth so what sergio does it's not what pablo does you've seen my videos my videos are totally different 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 even if at times people say that i do i don't do the reaction mine is passing the me message uh, like uh advising where possible what's good or not like hey this person did a video because me to my reaction i believe like so someone does a video then comes either you counter it with facts not attacks <coughs> sorry not attacks not attacks so my brother will decide on himself i cannot decide for him for sure that one is done now another issue that i've just risen here like you see many issues in the village oh this one did that oh maro did that now maro they're blocking my way tomorrow uh my advice i'll say my advice to mama Ann. uh there's a saying that they say, don't ever point a finger to a hand that feeds you or the hand that fed you. Trust me. <coughs> this person, uh, I remember sometimes, some years back, there's a, uh, there's a, a daughter of Mama Anne who passed on uh, when they were living on the other side or the upper side, if you are seeing the videos. And I'll tell you even how the road became, the road thing became, and she gave uh, to, the, to the people so that they can be passing the materials. Because uh, what I hear, I'll tell you here. So, uh, I remember that daughter of hers, even the time she was staying with the, she was her helping Sejo, the time Sejo was in the city, she was her house manager helping them out. Then uh, when she came home, I think she fell sick, then passed on. She was a nice girl, if you, a nice lady. Her, her, and there's another lady who also have seen them now. They've uh, converted her who talks now again to the to, uh, to, to the video, mixed videos I saw. But her name is Eliza. She's a nice one too. She's a nice lady, but I don't know. Forget about the young sister who usually make uh, the videos. I think, I don't know what her problem is. But I think there's something uh, pushing her. So there's Anne, there's Liz and the death one who passed on. They were very nice, good people. Uh, so, during the burial, there's a, a pastor, and there's a man of God who told them, now you can see what type of life you're living. Look at the houses. The houses were, they were not in a good condition, guys. But trust you, God has revealed to me that one day you'll build a good house, a beautiful house. Some people even giggled laughing, like, what's this guy saying? I don't know if Mama Anne remembers this. I swear I don't know if she remembers it, because uh, we were in that funeral. 
when that funeral. I don't know if she remembers this. Oh, but that guy, is that just that they shall go? I think she does. She does. I think some of the videos, they, they have talked about that story. The man of God said, one day you'll build a house. You'll be built a, you'll be built a house. Like, hey, even as she couldn't believe, like, I don't have anything. How will I build, uh, uh, like, um, um, a nice house, uh, like a mansion, you get that? So, it has not come to pass now that uh, the house is there. God used Maro and to build that house. Isn't that a blessing? That's why I tell you, uh, times, some dreams are fulfilled. And the reasons that Mama and people had really laughed at you, like, hey, you'll die poor, do all that. Remember, you did help Maro because Maro wanted to like to access some roads. There are some neighbors who are really bringing troubles. Like, hey, you need to pay for the road. And yet, remember that road is for the uh, the communities to pass there. There's a slaughterhouse somewhere. The way it passes goes straight to Maro's uh, Maro's uh, parents' home. So by then, Maro's constructing his villa down there. So that Mama Anne was like, no, 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 for me, uh, they call her Fred, call him Fred, I can't uh, charge you anything, my son, just, you can use, you can pass through my land. But she was the only person I remember did not ask for some cash. So it reached a point that the other family was too much, like every time they need to ask Maro for money, money. So then Maro decided not to divert where now they are using, where that route is now. Uh... There's a lady, uh, the, the family that has sold Mayuguna land in Nasto. Your grandmother, she used to, when uh, a truck used to come, there's a cousin of mine. <laughs> there's a cousin of mine uh, who had a truck when they were taking uh, materials tomorrow. He came and told me, hey, there's a lady down there, a grandma to uh, the bushman now. <laughs> you know the bushman? The guy, yeah. That she was rolling on the road, blocking the truck, like she's rolling, completely rolling, like you need to pay me so I can use this land. Because not that place was not gazetted. So to avoid all many issues, Maro decided like, okay, let me pay this lady, this old uh, grandma. She's a grandmother, by the way. I think she's almost uh, 70, 80. Maro gave her some questions. So now you can access this road. Still remember, Mama Anne hasn't... Uh, charge him anything which is the one who told him on the other that part you can use because the other family was bringing issues you can pass here so you know people have been passing there for the longest period of time i can give them a small story again here uh, to the family uh, if you see if you see that road from the main tarmac road that goes then you divert there's a police camp there then you go straight to Sintec, then to Maro's place. There's a, um, uh, there's a place where the president came and uh, opened that road. They wanted to tarmac it. I think you guys know it. From the main, the tarmac to the highway, then you go that road. The whole of that road, it goes all straight uh, up to the police camp there. That land belonged to the dad of village grandpa. Or uh, to the, it belonged to, Ma, to Maja, Maja K.E. grandfather. So here's the story. The old man, uh, by then he used to work for the, during the colonial era, where they were, the, they, they were called, I don't know, chiefs or what. Everyone was an officer. Then he was able to acquire more properties at the center here, at the Mwansa village, because their lands are on the market here. So uh, in order to bring development, he was like, hey, I can bring a small, we can bring a police post here, Nebuhansa police post now. It's built on uh, Maja's grandpa land. The whole of that land belongs to Maja's grandpa. It borders some family where, after Sintek, there's another family up here where they're bordering all, but that land belongs to them. So by then the road used to pass on top there. It used to divide their land and the land of the other guys. Because you know here, for instance, our neighbor here, if the road want to pass from up there, I'll remove some feet. Then my neighbor will remove some feet from his land so that we can ha all have a road so that no one can come and say, hey, this road belongs to me or what. 
like now what's happening to Mama Ann because the whole of the entire road from where fellow starts now diverting to his house from there that land belongs to Mama Ann so uh, back to Maja's grand uh, Maja's uh, Maja K.E. grandfather he brought a police post then now that route where now you'll reach before after the tarmac road just like a one minute walk there's another diversion where people usually work i think you've seen our videos here so that route just to go you go you you turn right you go then you come uh, you come like you're coming you, you then when you reach at the police post you go straight but you know what people have now built the houses here their homes there <laughs> that would never existed so the grandpa was like uh, no let me give them a road so that it can be accessing the police can be using their own road rather than using i think using the uh, the other people you know people started moving that road now passing even to end now people started, connected the land it went straight all the way up to the uh, school known as uh, kiburanga primary school that school is a government uh, uh, primary public school so <laughs> it reached a point trucks started passing using that road now it's like now five years uh, ten years fifteen years twenty years now he wanted to block that route <laughs> my friend he was warned he wanted not to go and claim that land that he gave to the police he was like hey 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 it has already been gazetted don't try they were like hey sir don't try even this you'll be arrested it now became the government property even the road now even that road died now they're using this now the main one that, that have been now the president came and opened on to put the tarmac that one was on not it was not on the map of the government reason being people have passed there more than 10 years old now they're used to even when someone buys the land they tell you there's a road here next to there's a road here so for like so back to mama aunt's case that road those people have used it like uh, more than uh, 15 20 years huge trucks people even it's not Maro's family only that stays there it's not Maro's family that only stays there it's Maro's dad uh, family compound when you go straight there's some f families who used to use the other route but now they are using this route and then after Maro's parents adjacent to Mama Ann there's another gentleman even there's a guy who passed on there the other day uh, I think they buried him there, I don't know where, I can't recall, who bought that land. Because uh, I remember there's an advocate who usually helps us uh, in buying lands here. I got those guys there, they were asking for, about the road accident. I know there's a road accident that passes there. So the road that passes to my hands is already on the gazette. It's gazetted already, I think, because how those people are claiming. After that guy, there's another guy adjacent to that place. When they saw the land, they told this the road. After that, there's Ankomo, there's Mayugun on the other side, there's another family down there, there's another family up to Maro's place, there's Giti Ribande who has born on the land. You know what? When you go by and sign the papers, the documents, or the advocate, and uh, they say the lands, they say that there's the road access. So here's the problem. If you were sure, if they were sure that they were not going to uh, let people access that road, they would have blocked it earlier, earlier earlier trust you me when uh, those title deeds when the surveyor comes when the surveyor comes let me tell you now our government is kenyan government mostly when the surveyors come they, they're like okay this is the road that has been passing and what happens here this one road up there even when there was a gentleman who was bringing issues like hey you know this road used to pass here on the gazette now but now but it's been passing here because you know even at times uh, these contractors the government gives them uh, work they usually like shortcuts they don't want to go the long way when making roads, they want a shortcut so they can save more. They'll come and pass, and you can't do them nothing. You can't do them nothing. This is Africa, man. This is Africa. So to me, I'll say, uh, rather than all these side shows, and if surely you gave it from your heart, let it be. Let it be. Still, you, you usually use that road. So what if you, <coughs> sorry, you, you block that road? then the other people tell you now you've blocked you don't want people to access your road then also don't use ours will you use a chopper to fly to the road yeah because you you pass to other people's lands when going they'll tell you she said they'll tell you like hey because you don't want people to pass on your land also we we don't want we don't want we don't want
Then they say like, okay, now you block this. So maybe you use you use a chopper to go through that. Sorry, I had to talk uh, to another call here. So uh, when the surveyor comes, I know most people don't have to settle this there. They will have to use that route. So mama and uh, you're our parent, you're our mother. Let's forget. Don't don't let people be used. And also remember, I can see your daughter talk so much about the land or what. In our culture, in our culture, guys, do not take me wrong. Do not talk me wrong. In our culture, if your dad is still alive, a lady, a lady, doesn't come and talks about the family properties in our culture. Do not take me wrong. In our culture, that's how it happens. Like home here, my sisters can't come and uh, like decide for us what we do or what. No, 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 no. It's either we we talk or the the boys talk and either that. So if maybe the husband, uh, mama and husband had the issue, like I don't want that. Maybe that will be like okay. No, you know now these people like they are pushing him more. But we rarely see him and even remember they brought their 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 uncle like they saw their dad is not acting. I think there's some forces. So let's stop dividing the village, guys. For sure, let's uh, give moral respect. Someone told me, hey, guys, you keep praising this moral. No, no, not that I'm praising him, guys. Let's be sincere. This guy has done more than what most people could have done in the village here. In the village here. He has done a lot, a lot, a lot. So, guys, let's even uh, show him some respect. Show him some respect. Show him some respect, guys. I see no one, no one, no one, even politicians that have all the amount of money have ever built even a single house for the needy people in the village. No, they've not. This guy was touched with that only thing that that mama and did and like, hey, let's do this. Mobilized funds from the friends and the, uh, the sister Dimuang and they did construct her house. Even they opened the business, then the business like uh, not everyone is business oriented so her business failed so i think maybe the reason is to frustrate them like oh now we need to get more cash from these people you see and even if you if they knew that road was there they shouldn't even have built that house down there you see when the next house again they moved down there so it means like they were trying to avoid up there because the people passing here then what have changed what have changed for even to build a house you need to balance your compound so I think there's something fishy going on there. So let's forget about that. Let's move on. Forget about the issues of blocking roads or blo blocking ways. It's just a road. It's only six uh, meters. And these lands that you're fighting for, you end up dying and leaving the land. You bury it six foot down and leave the rest of the land. So don't be, don't be used. Don't be used to fight that uh, guy. Don't be used to fight that guy. Because people might use you, mama. People might use you. People might use you. They might use your young daughter. Tell her, tell her. At times it's good. It's good to respect your elders. I say that. Maru is a big brother to them. Still, Maru is your son. So don't fight him in that way. So, guys, I think I'm going to end this one here. I'll be back again. That's what I have to say today. And uh, I'm very much sorry. Sorry. I'll say sorry again. Either if my brother offended you. Brother Maro, I'm sorry for my brother, what you're do, doing for you, whoever you did. I'm a wind ball, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all that. But at times, people, we need to learn lessons. You need to learn lessons. You need to sit down and at times sit down as an individual and think, like, am I doing the right thing or the wrong thing? Don't turn, like, now you end up. Like, I really hate it when I hear, I hear my brother being called a lazy gang or what. I don't like that. Uh, that uh, language if you're the one that's attacking you're doing what because if you're attacking that guy maybe one day you'll attack me too no bro stop it guy please stop it no that guy apart from youtube and what he's been a friend to me a brother to me we've got you know it's so it's so it's so it's it really hurts when you see such kind of a thing because me Maro, I'm trying to remove people, these people. These masons left the timbers here. I'm trying to remove them here so that I, 
think I know how to bring. So stop these attacks. I'll see you talk to him, I'll keep talking to him. There are times it reached a point where you feel like hey maybe he's ignoring. But I'll still talk to him. Hopefully, hopefully he will change. I'll be able to see you again guys. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Love you from the village of Nyabohansi. You told you Nyabohansi to the world. And thank you to Ayomaro, you made this happen, God brother. Love you, love you. See you on the next one. Bye bye.